Okay, we are at 6812 Brazos Bend Drive. Really pretty street. Nice trees down this street. There's your neighbor. Ignore my ugly, dirty truck. Front of the house. Double door garage. Very pretty landscaping. Roof looks good. They got ridge tiles. They did a nicer roof. Let's get under the tree so you can see. That's the road that we came in right there. Alright. Guttering everywhere. Got really pretty entranceway. Archway is really cute. Nice tiled floor. Shut this so they're not the air is not going outside. Okay. You got really nice detail up top too. Very tall front door. This goes into the garage on the left. So you come through the front door. Try not to make you dizzy, sorry. Front door is right here. And then this garage is huge. Insulated doors. Nice windows from the outside, it matches. Both of them have openers, belt openers. That door goes outside. And then as you can see, there's electrical outlets everywhere. It is 30 foot wide and 20 foot sink is all plumbed in. 20 foot long GFCI is out here too with it being. So it's 30 foot from me to the window and 20 foot from the left to the right as we stand now. Tons of lights in here. So you have a half bath off the hallway right here. Nice pedestal sink. Very tall ceilings in here. Tile's done really well. And then you have like a low pile carpet in here. Nice glass door and it's got a lock on it. This one could be an office area. Wall lights all the way around. And then it has a nice ceiling fan. It's pretty good size in here if you did want this as an office area. So your half bath, garage is to the right, front door is to the right. And then this pretty archway. So the left here goes to the kitchen. Tall 42 cabinets. Very pretty Viking gas range. Got cute touches too. If ever you wanted a granite, it's got cute shapes. Double oven. And there's space in here if you wanted to do the big top oven. Plenty of space. You can do that quite easy. You have this nice little window that looks into the living room. And you have a gorgeous view outside. I don't know if it's going to focus. No. I'll show you outside in a second. So you have a nice big center island with a secondary sink. And it's wide in here too. Big fridge. That note says the fridge is staying because it is clad to match. So because it's staying, I'll show you the inside. It's a very heavy built fridge. It's solid. Huge. It's a nice big pantry. More counter space, your main sink right here has a sensor light in the pantry as well so it comes on and off when you open it. Dishwasher, same thing. They did the cover door on the front to match it. It's a trash drawer right here. It does show, I just left it open so I wouldn't forget to show you. It's really big in here. You got a lot more counter space in here than the other two. Then you have a formal dining here. There's all uh, can lights in this kitchen too. I'll swing back around. You've got bar lights, you've got above cabinet lights, and then you have the spotlights as well. So you've got tons of lighting in here and you have the under cabinet lights as well. So it's tile in here in the dining. And then this, yep, yeah, and it is carpet in the middle. 
wanted to check that wasn't a rug before I said the wrong thing. But that is carpet in the middle. We have a nice long breakfast bar right here. And then the living area is this pretty wood flooring that you see the color in there. That's your little window to the kitchen. Archway from the hallway. They're really cute. It's sunk in about a foot, foot and a half where the TV is and that framework is. Show you outside. So you got a nice covered back porch. Ceiling fan. There's can lights out here too. It's your dining room light windows. So your property boundary goes right there to the before that fence. And then this wooden fence is your back property line. So you still got your guttering out here. Got your pretty landscaping. And then this concrete area that I'm stood in is like an access along the back. Which as you see they did railing fence on the neighbor's house on both sides. So you can keep your pretty view. But if ever you got pets or anything, they couldn't get out here. This is a horse place next door. I'll show you because it's a pretty view. All right, you're very pretty grass out here. Okay. So that's the hallway where the front door is on the other end. And then this archway leads to the master. You've got these cute alcoves everywhere. That's cute little storage built in, panel door. So master has carpet that looks in really good shape. All hooked up ready for TV. Tall ceilings in here. This is a huge fan and it fits really well. And then these are built-ins around the bed. I don't know if you'd want to keep those or remove those, but they are attached. So if you wanted to take them out, you would need to do some work on the sheetrock to patch that. There's a cute alcove right here. It's a big room, double windows to the back. So you, it probably isn't focusing on the camera, but you can see out to that grassy pasture next door. Double doors into the bathroom where it's tiled. They clearly like purple. Big corner garden tub with the jets. Nice window. It's very bright in here. We haven't actually turned any lights on in here. And it's bright enough. All the post-its. I'll let you read the post-its. So it's just open. So you have storage in here. And this one opens. And get back so you can see a bit better. Tub looks in good shape. Tile's really pretty and it does have a big separate shower. That I'm sure if you wanted to, you could go up higher because I bet that's probably empty. It's all glass, it's nice. Instant hot water in the shower, that note says. So again, the two side pieces open. Separate room for the toilets. There's no built-ins in here. If you wanted to, you could add built-ins above the toilet there. And then this is your master closet. Very similar to the first house in size. It may even be a little bit bigger. These are built-in, so these would stay, so I'll show you them they stay they're nice they open and close really easily look at all these built-ins shoe drawer shoe drawer i gotta look at the shoe whoa, whoa we did not open this a minute ago look at that very cool tons of storage and space in here alarm system this goes into your laundry Big laundry room. Doesn't have a sink in here, but it does have built-ins and lots of cabinet space. Pretty decent sized closet for all your cleaning stuff in here. These pretty floors again. This is 
bedroom. They have this one set up as an office right now. That is the entranceway and obviously the kitchen. So we'll start in this very back bedroom, which is on the front. It's a very cool room. It just has its own seating area. These are built in again around it. Sensor lights. Ta-da! Oh my goodness, I didn't not look in this closet. So I can go. This is huge. Look at that. Holy cow. You do have blue carpet in here. It's different to the master. This is very cool how it has a seating area. Let's come out to the hallway. So there's a full bath right there. This is, let me back up one step. That's the laundry that goes into the master. So that blue carpet bedroom was at the front of the house. This room is also in the front of the house. Someone does crafts on a serious basis. So this would be a bedroom, but you do have all these built-ins in here. Big closet that they have taken the rails out, you can see. So it'd be easy to put it back and take these this drawer is an add-in and this sorry shelf is an add-in so you could make that a closet again and then this looks like it's just in here it does not look like the carpet was done around it get this closet to stay shut and then these are mounted on the wall so if you wanted to take those out you could you just obviously have sheetrock repairs and changes to do it's a very bright room because there's no lights on in here at the moment so again that's the laundry from the master and then that's the room with the sitting area and this is your guest bath Okay, so the bottom ones, it says do open. Oh wow, very cool. And that one's the same. And then you have a huge shower in here. It's reflecting the toilet on the sink on there. It's a really big shower, nice tiled floor. And then there's this room, uh, closet, sorry, here. This is off your entrance area. This is gonna be coat closet. There's your front door, kitchen, and living area. And then your master is around the corner to the right. Dining area is by that glass door. And then through there was the garage and the office. And then behind us was the two bedrooms and the guest bath and then laundry is down on the left.